excited? Yeah? 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 Alright, my name's Seth Bush. I'm a member of the Pittsburgh Student Environmental Coalition. Uh, Peace Tech is a collective of youth-run environmental organizations from Pittsburgh, including Chatham University, University of Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon University, Duquesne, our shared school of life and beyond. But that's not all that PSEC is. We're also members of the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and world communities. And as such, we join together with this community today to act on an issue affecting each and every one of us, gas drilling in the Marcellus Shale. I speak for many members of my generation when I say that we too have a vested interest in preserving this region. We may still be realizing where our paths will lead, but many of us have dreams of someday making a living here. Yet, how can we stay if the water is bad, the air is dirty, and the communities are broken? I visited Stephanie Hallowich out in Hickory, 45 minutes away from here just last week to meet her family and see how the industry has affected her way of life. I saw firsthand how the sprawling gas industry, hidden away in the beautiful hills behind their home, has made their water toxic, polluted their air, and destroyed their dreams of making a safe and happy living. I realized then that if her strong and loving family can barely manage to maintain a reasonable quality of life with four nearby well pads, then how can I expect to start a family in ten some years when this region is peppered with thousands and thousands of wells and covered in the cobweb of infrastructure that comes with them? If this is what progress looks like, then don't count on today's youth to stick around and keep it going because we want nothing to do with dirty energy, a dirty energy future of any kind. Fortunately, people like you and me from all over the Marcellus Shale region have come together in a unified voice to say, we will not accept the energy industry's definition of progress. We are human people. We have the right to clean air, drinkable water, and sustainable communities. No amount of money can buy these rights away from us and we will not stand idly by as the industry attempts to do so. In July, when this protest was merely an idea, I spoke similarly to an audience of 50-some people here in Pittsburgh at a rally in Bloomfield. At that point, we were just starting to organize ourselves, and the intent was to rally each other to take future action. I'm very excited today because now the future is upon us. We are much stronger as a movement, and today we are acting. Today we will shout loud and clear over the dull roar of corporate lobbyists oozing from across the river to remind our freshly elected representatives of their responsibility to protect our rights. This is important, and we must make our demands for a viable, clean energy future heard. But we must also realize our own contribution to the problem. Ironically, oil and gas companies fuel our lives, and our spending fuels these companies. This shale drilling industry might not be as scary if it weren't for such a lucrative multi-billion dollar behemoth capable of throwing money at anything that comes in its way. Whenever we use coal, natural gas, or oil, we are essentially empowering the industry to go on abusing our communities unchecked. So we need to start finding ways to conserve, cut back, and divest on top of demanding stricter regulations and legislative action. Let's make these things happen together. First, let's march across that bridge and tell these people we will not take their abusive bullying anymore. We have a right to clean air, drinkable water, and healthy communities. And we intend to protect those rights. But then, when we go home tonight, let us not check our movement and passions at the door. Let's make conscious decisions every day to begin evolving a culture of conservation so that we can cut our energy problems at the, revo at the root and, and avoid fights like this in the future. Turn off the television, step away from the computer, pick up a paperback book, and simplify. Please do this for yourselves, do this for my generation, and do this for my children's generation. Our collective future depends upon it. Thank you for your passion and involvement, and we will see you on the streets. Besides, you, you didn't give a shout out to your crew. Is there anybody from PC?